And so we meet again. Hello folks, I'm Brandon Schaefer. This video goes out to a subscriber that had some questions about creating a darker color, uh, such as a darker yellow, darker red, darker blue. How do I make a dark yellow and still keep it, um, still keep it yellow? Well, I'm going to demonstrate that here, but I'm going to also explain a little bit about darker colors and that a darker there's no such thing as really a darker yellow or a dark blue or a dark red it's a completely different color tone and uh, I know it kind of sounds funny but in the world of pigments when you you have to mix colors um, in order to get certain um, mixtures that you want. Um, you know, in order to create something else, you have to mix a variety of colors together. And the more you mix together, the less pure, um, the farther away from a pure color you're going to get. So what I'm using is ultramarine blue, which is actually a really dark blue already. So in order to darken that ultramarine, I mean, you're not really going to need much darker than that, uh, but I'm going to show you here. And then I have cadmium red medium, cadmium yellow medium, titanium white. So let's get into this about, about darkening colors. So let, let's uh, see what I can mix up here. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do something interesting with these and, and, and go from I'm going to do my best to create a really dark tone and then bring it all the way to light. You know what I mean? So, so how would I darken um, this blue? What I would do, if I needed a darker blue than this, which this is a really dark blue already. So I'd put this blue down. If you're going to darken it, little touch of red. Probably not even that much. Now this is going to be really subtle and it's going to be so dark that you're not even going to be able to tell what kind of what color it is anyway. So it's not even going to matter because it's already it's going to be like close to black. And this is this is why I don't enjoy using black. Um black to me is a dead color. There's no temperature to it and beginners often use black too much. Um he commented um when he had the questions he said, "Well, couldn't I just mix black to make a darker blue or a darker red or a darker yellow? Well, what happens when you mix, and there, there's your darker blue. Now you can see the difference there. This one's much darker. All I did was add touches of red to it. Now if I added a ton of red to it, it would start becoming reddish purple. But with this, it's just a darker blue. Um, he had a question saying, well, if I just added black to the, you know, and I told him, well, if you add black to the yellow, most people know that when you add black and yellow, you're going to get like a darkish green color. So here's my question to you is that what, um, at what point, how can you darken a yellow and still keep it pure? You know, how, when you look at a really dark yellow, what color is it actually? It's probably going to be a very neutralized brownish yellow. So there's a really dark blue. Now you're not going to get much darker than that. That is really dark. Um, and that would, that would be sufficient enough for a painting that you're going to do as a dark blue. All I did was add a little touch of red. It doesn't really look uh, purple to me. Ultramarine is already kind of purple. Um, it has a red bias to it. So this um, it doesn't come across as purple at all. Um, it's just a darker blue. Now, if you're going to darken red, I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to try the same thing. Um, I'm going to add a little touch of blue. Now, what is dark red though? There's no such thing as a darker red. It's going to turn when you look even at this sheet that's on the corner here. That's um, you know, underneath what I'm doing here, when you see this dark red, it's not really a darker red. It's a completely different tone. It's it's going to be 
um, kind of maroon. There, there's going to be some some color to it. It's not just. It's impossible to just get a darker red. Um, things are going to change, but you can see there the difference that I've gotten. Now you can see if I add a lot more blue to it, it starts becoming purple over here. But I'm going to try to give you a spectrum so you can see here the progression that you can get. See what I'm saying? That's a darker red. Now if I keep doing this, if I keep adding the blue, let's have it mostly blue on one side. You know, this is kind of what I'm trying to show. And then let's gradually mix some red in here. And have these mixed together. You're going to get like purple in the middle. Um, but there's your dark red right in here. It's almost purple. Um, that's kind of what dark red is when you when you really look. If you look at this sheet, that's dark red here. Um, this sheet is already like a maroonish tone. But that's that's kind of that's what you're going to have to do. And so if you don't want this purple, um, you know you pick one of these dark reds. Probably if you add a little bit of a yellow in there, like barely any, um, you can kind of gray it out a little bit, but that'll make it more gray. It'll 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 lose its power. So these are your darker reds. So there you can see full red there, a little bit darker it starts turning. That's where it starts getting a little cooler than you want it. That's gonna be a dark red. That's a dark blue. Um, you know, it's basically the same thing over here as that dark blue. You could probably you'll find that in there. Um, you know, if I added more blue to this and did the same thing, if I added some red and went all the way over to blue, you know, did this side a little bit better, you'll find your dark blue in there as well. Here's your dark blue, dark red. Um, of course, there's going to reach a point where you can't get any darker um, because that's how pigment works. You, you're just not going to get darker. Even if you added black, which this color almost is black. Now, if you took this color and added it to the red, you're going to get something like this. It's just, that's how pigment works. Um, the colors mix together, and, and that's what happens. It's different than a computer screen. It's, you know, if you want to do digital art, that's a whole separate thing. Um, but even with the screen, you're still gonna, it's still going to have the same principles as this for the most part. Um, but see what I mean? A, a, a darker red really isn't a dark red. It, it's, it's, it's one of these tones. Um, but let's try a dark yellow because that's going to be tricky. Dark blue, I mean, that's kind of simple. You add a little touch of red, it darkens it down. Uh, you get a, it's more of a purple tone, but if you keep it on the blue side, predominating with blue, you're going to be, you'll be fine in your painting. And, and don't worry about it so much. I, I think you, should, you need to just jump into the painting and get to work and get training. Because, you know, it's like, li think about lifting weights. You know, you can read all the books on lifting weights and all kinds of stuff on working out. But until you get on a bike or until you start lifting, um, you know, you're not going to get any, uh, um, any stronger just by reading a book. You know, your brain will get stronger, but you're not going to, you know, that's not what you're trying to do. So think about that way. Painting is like a sport. So just think about it in that way. So let's get some yellow here, pure yellow. And this is going to be tricky. Now yellow is tricky because if I add blue to that, it's going to turn green. If I add red, it's going to turn orange. So what what should I do here? I'm going to I'm going to go with if I want this to darken, you're probably going to want like a a mixture of purple because that's what an earthy black kind of is is this purple. So I'm going to I'm going to attempt that and I'm going to put a purple color at this other end. I'm going to get as dark as I can over here. So that's a pretty dark color. There's a little bit of yellow mixed into it already because it was on my brush. Um, let's hit that again. So I got that all mixed out. 
So now you can see a difference there. Let me zoom in on that one because. So here's the yellows. There's the yellow there, and there's the dark tone. Kind of a dark purpley, blue, red, um, whatever you want to call it. Now, if I start. throwing these together there's going to be a point where that dark yellow which doesn't exist there's no such thing as dark yellow it becomes a completely different color there's going to be a point where this yellow turns into a brown that's just naturally that's just how pigment works that's what's going to happen as you can see there that's pretty much what it's going to be. Now that's pretty good blending. Um, you know, I, I did as best as I could here. So I think um, that's, that's what you're going for. That's what you're going to, that's what you have to work with. And these, this is beautiful, beautiful colors to work with. So when you have these all laid out, I mean, I can do it with blue too if you want. If you want me to demonstrate that, just so we have all three of them there. I know it's a little messy up here, but and right here, but you know, let's let's lay the blue out and try that. We know what ultramarine looks like. There it is, a little strong blue coming through. And then let's put um, some red and yellow. Let's just neutralize it a little bit down here. Because we kind of have the red red and blue scale right there. Um, I'm putting just a little bit of yellow. But I mostly want it red because the yellow is just going to gray it out. So if I blend these two together, start adding some blue on that, stretching it out. You know, these are the these are the the spectrum that you have to work with as far as dark tones. When you get into the darks, the darkest you're going to get is this red and blue mixture. Most for the most part, yellow is just going to lighten it up, gray it out a little bit, and neutralize it. But you know, you're not going to need much darker than that. That's going to come across in your painting as black. I mean, it probably looks black right here on this video. So see, that's where you get into a darker blue. And uh, ultramarine's already pretty dark. And you see how you darken the reds. And then you darken the yellows. And you can do this with secondary colors as well. Um, let me, let me uh, try that real quick. I, know I don't want this video to run too long. Um, let's do it with a green, because that, that's an easy one to do it with. Um, and, and green's kind of... You know, with landscapes, a lot of people use greens, so let's mix up a green here. I don't even know why I have the white on here. I mean, the white, you could lighten up any of this. You can make, you know, that kind of pushes. The, you have a whole other spectrum to deal with. You can add white to all these colors, and then you have a whole range of, of lights to use. Um, ooh, I'm getting a lot of glare on that green, huh? Let's see. I can zoom it in here. So there's the green tone. And, uh, you know, what neutralizes green is going to be red. So I'm going to um, probably, actually, I'm going to mix, I'm going to mix it with the, with the purple at the other end. Because that's kind of our black. So I'm going to put some blue down here. Blue is, is pretty dark when it comes to greens. And then a little bit, a little bit of red. Red neutralizes it, so you don't want to have too much red because it'll just turn brown and gray. So mostly blue in this mixture, but just a, a dark tone. So let's stretch this dark tone out. And then uh, let's try to darken up this green. Let's see, stretch this green out a little bit. Ooh, that's not coming across. 
not well at all. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So see your dark greens are going to become... See, and, and take note too. Everything that gets darker becomes way more neutral, no matter what. Yellow becomes way more neutral because you're adding... It, you're mixing colors together so there's less pure color. That's just the way it works. When the, dark, when the reds get dark, it becomes less pure, less, uh, just becomes more neutral. Same with the blue, I mean, the blue just gets darker. That's just easy to make as a, a dark tone like that. It's just easy to make. Um, it's a very dark color. I mean, it's basically, it, it's, a, it's a more lively black than using black. I, I would, don't recommend using black, uh, at least for beginners. They tend to overuse it where it's not needed. And you can get a lot of beautiful, beautiful tones and temperature with all these colors. And so you can darken it with any color you want. If, if you wanted orange, see like you have this red here, and you wanted to to darken, I mean, you just add yellow to this mix, this red. It it becomes an orange, and you just do the same thing. The orange will become a uh, a more brown, neutral color. That, that's just what happens. See, I just did it. That's exactly what happens. So, anyway, I hope this video helped. Hope this video helps you understand how the paint works more. And also, with any of these, I mean, you can add white. You can really lighten up some of these colors, and you can really push the spectrum. And you're going to need to when you paint anyway. You're going to have to have highlights, and you know, um, you can you, neutrals don't have to be dark. You can add white to these neutrals and really bring out some lighter gray tones. Um, beautiful colors here, beautiful harmony. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps you understanding when it comes to darkening colors, it's not just adding black, um, it's adding blue, you know, cooling it down, warming it up. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can really neutralize this green, you can really warm it up, um, you can create a warm green. There's so many wonderful effects that you can create with this painting. And, um, it's just having fun, jumping into it, start painting. Don't analyze so much. Stop thinking so much. Start doing, start mixing, start learning, start training. So anyway, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.